favorite thing about Miss Kilroy has to be her honesty. They changed it for the better or worse? For the better, right? Do we still do that today? Yeah, yeah right? The original iPhone, although yes, the iPhone looks exactly the same as it did when it first came out. Has it been improved? Yeah. Oh, tremendously, yes, it's much faster, right? My name is Jen Kilroy. I teach ninth grade global history. I teach 12th grade economics and government, and I also teach 12th grade uh, black history elective. I learned a lot about how to be tough on students, but love them at the same time. So Ms. Kilroy um, took all of you eighth grade, middle school, immature children and turned you into ninth grade high school students. I feel that Ms. Kilroy is a very good teacher. Um, she helped me understand a lot of stuff that I didn't usually like, I didn't think about when I was going, like when I was in middle school and I was learning global. And global, in middle school, it was just kind of confusing, but when I entered Miss Kilroy's classroom, she made me feel comfortable and helped me understand a lot of stuff that I didn't understand about history before. My experience growing up was great, because I, you know, love my family, but my experience in school, not so much. I was um, tracked in high school, which means that you took a test and they put you in certain classes and you were never allowed to switch out of them, even if you, got smarter like we all do over the years. Um, so I was held back a lot in high school and not allowed to take certain classes because of a grade I got in seventh grade. I think it was entirely positive. Um, she was very adaptable in her teaching style. So whenever I didn't understand anything, she would always have like extra slides or like an extra worksheet that I could work on that would help me clarify and understand the idea better. Every time she interacts with either one of her students or another teacher, you can tell she just truly cares and really does care about um, who she's talking to at the moment. Oh, I watch Real Housewives, yes, bravo, huge bravo-holic, number one thing I do to calm down. I watch The Office, I've seen that series probably 1,200 million times, not really. But um, yeah, I watch a lot of TV, I listen to music, I like to dance and sing and just make myself feel better when I'm having a bad day, yeah. To the north, and that's right up here, okay? Have any of you heard of the Alps before? Yeah, those are up here to the north, okay? Do, do we study somewhere else that they do something to protect them from invaders? Yeah. Who did we learn about that did that? Brendan? China, right? They built a great wall to protect from invaders from the north. So, any questions on this? I was really quiet as a kid. My teachers never, never knew me. And I'd say advocate for yourself because I needed a lot of help in high school and I didn't ask for it. And when I went to college, I really struggled. And um, I still struggled until I learned how to speak up for myself and really go get the help that I needed, whether that be the writing center, the math center in college, anything. That would, I would advocate for myself more and stand up and speak out because I was super shy. Yes. Yeah. Have it up for yourself. Yeah. We did it. You guys crushed it. The latest things is something called spam. Not, not the meat, but spam. I'm sorry, can we start over? I don't remember. I'm Hi, what did you notice? Don't get that on film. <laughs>